guys. <laughs> we are back. <laughs> it's gonna be nervous. This one's nervous because she hasn't been on it for a long time. Anyway, let's go. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay, 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 let's go. Hi guys. Hi guys. We're back. We're back. <laughs> I think we're gonna take the lead of this one <laughs> because this one is all silly and that. Okay. I'm you wanna... nervous. Are you nervous? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi guys, we're back. I was checking the video that um, I posted last time. It's been literally yeah. been a year. Yeah. Um, but we're back. Um, life has been lifing. And um, I've heard everybody talking about the wedding video. And, you know, when are we going to post it? Da, 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 da. So I did ask on Instagram um, what you guys wanted before. And we just feel like it'll be better to do a life update before we could just rudely come in and bombard you with the, the wedding video. So the wedding video is coming very shortly. You won't have to wait for long. It's on its way. It's ready. We don't have to do anything to it. We'll just post it out. But um, yeah, this is going to be our life update for the past year. So um I don't want to be rude, but if you're new here and you've come across this video, hey, my name is Sergine and this is my husband, Mads. Um, my YouTube is about motivating people becoming the best version of themselves. So please subscribe, join the family and go and catch up with our videos on how we met. We're kind of, you know, good a stuff. lot of good content. Good <laughs> yeah, go check it out. And then, um, yeah, so we're back. We're back. We're here. We're here. It's been a year. I've been married to this beautiful man that has won my heart. Wow. Literally. Um, so let's let's go. So last time I posted a video, that video was on my bridal shower, literally a couple of weeks before our wedding. So um we are going to give you all the details here. So let's address the elephant in the room first. <laughs> well, my hair. <laughs> your hair. What happened? <laughs> the stresses of life. Um, so my hair. Um, you guys know I've always had long hair, and I've always wanted to try short hair. And um, and this one also. He was always like, "Oh, I think I want to see. You know how you're gonna rock short hair." Um, before the wedding, I just felt the need for a change. I don't know, but I just feel like I need a change. I need a change. I want to cut my hair. It took me like two, three months to like, you know, get to the place where I was like, okay, like I'm really going to go for it and I'm going to cut my hair. I was actually considering being a short old pixie cut bride. I was thinking maybe I want to actually walk down the aisle with my short hair or whatever. Um, anyway, I cut my hair. Um, that was an experience in itself. I was really scared, but I cut my hair into a pixie. So it wasn't actually this short before. Um, I cut into a pixie and then that was actually shocking. I really, 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 really liked it. But it was high maintenance. I'm not going to lie. It's like every two weeks you have to do the high maintenance. Um, it was just, it was a lot. Um, so we went off to the wedding. Um, I had my hair. You're going to see the wedding anyway, but you, you're going to see I, I had long hair and I had short hair. Um, for the wedding and then when we came back obviously we're going to tell you about what happened in between um when we got married we moved out i was just so busy with managing life being married work and all that kind of stuff and because it was such high maintenance i had to go and get it done every week or every two because i like to look good okay i like to look good even if i'm at home i like to look presentable you know for my husband and just look cute and it just wasn't, it wasn't given. I didn't have the time to keep going to the hairdressers and do it. Um, one day I just got tired and I said to, to my husband, I was like, 
hey, let's do it. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's do it. And he's crazy. I was ready. Yeah, he's <laughs> so crazy. So I grabbed the trimmer before she had the time to regret. And change my mind. <laughs> change your mind. Yeah, I went there. I did it. I did it quite well. Yeah, you did it really well. He actually well. cut it. He cut off my head and I was bold. And I was like, oh my God, I actually did it. And I think... Well, during... Almost bold, didn't it? Yeah, I was yeah, almost yeah. bold. And then after a few days, I went to Barber just for like a nice shape up. And I did a line. I was like, oh, this is actually good. And then I went to dye it. I went to the hairdressers to dye it. They did such an awful job. I showed them like a platinum blonde. <laughs> <laughs> and I came back with orange. Orange. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then he actually helped me correct it. And then yeah. um, I've and been... that time on, I became your, your colorist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> literally. No, but literally, you colored it a lot more in yeah, the beginning. Yeah, did. Um, And then, yeah, so we just var variate from this color or like like it, sometimes a bit white or whatever mm. but yeah and i've been enjoying it it's it's giving me freedom like i you know i just get up and go you know i don't have to worry i look cute at home um i think this is what's gonna be it's really low maintenance yeah it? yeah, really. yeah it's low maintenance especially for how busy a life yeah. is right now and hey it looks amazing mm. what do you guys think <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah. so that's it with the hair. So, um, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about where we've been. So, after the video that I posted about um the bridal shower, um, if you haven't watched it, go and watch that. Um, we went back to just like planning the wedding, and to be honest, our wedding wasn't really stressful. I didn't find it stressful at all because um, because it was in Greece, they were literally doing everything for us. We just had to have like videos, um, meetings, just to catch up on where things are and literally just sort out money. So, and then deco, stuff like that, decide like on final things and what we're going to do. What I found most stressful about it was actually the sitting plan, which is, <laughs> which is weird because th that was it. That was what we had to do. So... I didn't really find that stressful and you were working, weren't you? Yeah, I was working <laughs> quite a lot, yeah. yeah. Just trying to, you know. To make money. To everything, yeah, yeah. yeah. To make sense of it, so. Yeah. So I kind of like took over with like the wedding planning and looking for a place for us to move. Um, we managed to view some places with each other and then some, it was just like a video call. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Some of them, yeah, you called me. Others, we had the privilege to go and, and watch together. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, so that was that. Was that. So I was kind of, like, balancing between finalising the plans about the wedding and then um, also um, looking for a place. Um, in, in, in the meantime, we did, just like, a photo shoot, like, a, a wedding photo shoot as well, I remember? Yes, we did. For the pictures that we were going to use we at the did. wedding. We did. Um, what else did we do? I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. That was, that yeah. was basically it. And then the wedding came, which was amazing. We traveled to Greece with our family. It was mad. It was hectic. Like, my mom's house had suitcases <laughs> everywhere because we were, we were going to be in Greece for... We are going to go there two days before and then everybody was going to stay there a couple of days after. So, I mean, our direct family. Yeah. So we wasn't just going for the wedding, so we also had to pack, and we were yeah. going to our honeymoon. We we're going straight to honeymoon after, after yeah. that. So. so everyone was going there for a week mm -hmm. minimum, and then we went straight after. Exactly. To to Rhodes. Um. So that was crazy because Mum's house has it had suitcases everywhere. Shout out to my friend Tola because she helped me pack. I thought we were gonna have to pay for like you know ten extra bags. She was like, "Girl, what are you doing?" Yeah, pack properly. <laughs> <laughs> she really helped me pack and we mm. managed to just like pack properly and we traveled it was it was it was a smooth flight mm. um when we got there we actually did we go to see the, the venue the same day we did didn't we? yeah so that was yeah, yeah. In the afternoon as soon as we arrived at the hotel we dropped off the things and then we went there yeah, yeah so that was it we we went to view our venue yeah. literally the day before we hired do you remember we hired a car yeah and then uh apparent well i typed in the address uh which you shouldn't do if you go to greece just a heads up <laughs> because what happens was that's the address that the, the company was registered do you remember were you in that car on the other car no i was in the other car you was in the other car yeah <laughs> so the car we were driving we literally went 
completely the wrong way. We went yeah. in the city in the centre and then yeah. we just spoke. So anyway, yeah. a journey was, I guess, an hour longer than it was to be. <laughs> so yeah, that, but that was so, good. It was a good experience yeah, anyway because yeah. we had everyone. Yeah, 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 literally, yeah. some of our friends as well. Um, we're traveling on the same day. We've, we ended up meeting some of our guests at the airport, so mm. there was quite a lot of us. Yeah. Um, and then when we got there, we went straight to view our venue, which was really nice. And as soon as we got there, guess what? This one, I broke down. I started crying. It was just all becoming so real because we said we wanted our wedding to be abroad. And then here you were. And then here I was. It started like a joke, yeah. but it was just like, oh my god, and our venue. Oh god. It was so beautiful. I mean, you're going to see it very soon. But it was so beautiful. Um, everything was done well. When we got there, we told them where we wanted a couple of things. Um, it, it was just, it was, it was smooth. Was very, very smooth. They're yeah. very, very helpful. We brought our own, like... Um, like one to one full size pictures. Yeah. And like, they're very like we just told them we want this one to be there, this one to be there. Yeah. Very, very, you know, paying attention to details. And yeah, they did a great Shout job. Shout out to Ace Photography for those bomb ass pictures. They yeah. were so that was it. And then the following day was our wedding, which was the most beautiful day of our lives. I will never do it again because it was very stressful. <laughs> In terms of like it, uh, I don't know, like, leading up to... I found the wedding day more stressful than the wedding planning because I'm actually an introvert. I don't like... I know I come across like a people's person, but I'm actually not. He is. So just having people around me from 8 a.m. till whatever time we finished the wedding mate at some point my husband was like babe i know you're tired i can see you're tired but come on let's just push through because our guests are here um it was really beautiful the vibe was amazing i had you know peace i had like the whole i, I can't complain mm. the only thing was just like there was you know you pay for a videographer and photographer and you don't think that they actually come in to also do their job so they're going to need to be pulling you on every like they have to make sure they have content. Mm. And so I didn't actually think about that. It's mm. weird. I didn't actually think about, oh, like, I would be pulled by the photographer and the videographer. It's literally like a, a tug of war between the two. Oh, I found that that part, I found it really stressful. But the wedding day itself, it was beautiful. Um, How did you find yeah. it? Yeah, very, very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, the venue was amazing. Yeah. It's truly amazing. There was, like, this outdoor area, which you're going to see beautiful view and yeah it was this i love that especially the the small um area in the in the corner mm. where um where the ceremony took place yeah, yeah 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 i mean it looks it looks it looks amazing on the pictures and the video it looks so nice but what you can't see in the picture was it was quite cool actually <laughs> <laughs> and i felt so bad because you know it yeah, was in it was april and, yeah. and then as we were going on these you know poor guests that was just sitting outside <laughs> and a beautiful dress and yeah, yeah so uh, yeah but it was a beautiful day it's beautiful day you yeah know, that's, that's just one of those things you remember oh yeah. it was just it was you cold. can't tell in the video but you remember it was it's like yeah, it was cold. cold but um, um thank god we went inside as soon as we finished yeah and we took a few pictures for family and yeah yeah it was a beautiful day it was a beautiful day you'll beautiful get to day. see that um yeah. and then after the wedding it was his birthday so the wedding was on the 13th of april and his birthday was on the 17th of april so i had planned a surprise birthday party i forgot to mention that that was also hard because when i was planning the wedding i was planning his birthday um surprise dinner uh, i did like an all white party for him and because we kind of like the hotel that we booked was like a family hotel so they were able to like make his favorite cake like his danish traditional cake we had to literally do testings of the cake and see if they made it properly like it and was my mom was there as well yeah, yeah yeah more um yeah my mom was there yeah too. so yeah. Uh, after the wedding obviously we had direct family some of our guests went back the day after and then some two days after and then we had his birthday i think it was a sunday possibly it was a sunday yeah because your birthday this year is a monday it was a sunday okay yeah. it was a sunday so um we did a surprise like birthday dinner for him which was really really nice um and it was. It was yeah an amazing and amazing then i surprise. think yeah was it no i think it was on a saturday because the sunday we had dinner 
and then the Monday we went for our honeymoon. Anyways, I don't know about I'm the dates, sure. but yeah, we're not sure. I think it was said today, yeah. Yeah, so it was really nice. And then we went to our honeymoon, which was really nice. We decided, to, what did, did we go to Rhodes? We went to Rhodes, yeah, which yeah. is this um, uh, island. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. Of the Greek, yeah, part of the Greek islands. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Do you know place. what I just remembered? No. Remember when we got to the airport, yeah. there was issues with the flight. And that when we were checking in, the guy was like, one of us may have to go, one oh, of us might have yeah. to stay. Okay, listen guys, so we went to the airport. Okay, let me explain. So we actually went to the airport, excited, obviously, you know, happily married. Going you know, to going to a honeymoon, is all good, and that's that kind of stuff. We went there, had a good time to check in. And then we got, we got to the counter, and then they said, oh, sorry, the, the flight is overbooked or something like that. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? Like, we're going on a honeymoon. This, this flight cannot be overbooked. Not this one. And then, and then yeah, and then someone told us something like, yeah, we might have to, maybe some maybe one person can go now, one person can go on the next flight. I'm just, what are you talking about, mate? Like, I'm not leaving my wife. Imagine, behind. the devil is a liar. What yeah. God has put together? <laughs> Let no man come and, what do you mean? Amen. Listen, that, yeah, he tried it right there. Yeah, I anyway, was upset, man. So, anyway, so we went, obviously, I spoke to the lady. I told him, just call me. Hey, listen, we, we just got married. You know, we're not from here. Like, we just want to go on a honeymoon. Please, can you do something? Mm -hmm. And then we just left it in God's hands. Oh, she was really lovely, that half lady. Half an hour later or something yeah. like that, she came, she pulled me on the side. Okay, don't worry, I've managed. I've managed to put you guys on the flight. So, and anyway, God told me. And I came like, and told ah. you, and we went off. Yeah. But that was, obviously, that was just a little bit of a stressful. Yeah. Then, you know, like, oh. That yeah. was a bit, but anyway, a, a bit stressful. Away. But this one, he calmed me all the way down, yeah. and we, our honeymoon was beautiful. Our hotel, listen, a, I did ooh, manage to place. vlog, but I cannot promise you that I will be able to put the vlogs out. <laughs> like I, I don't know, but, yeah. I, but I managed to capture a few bits. If we can, we can show it. If not, just mm. go buy our story. But it was beautiful, apart from um, yeah, Mother Nature that decided to come. <laughs> it was this. Um, <laughs> it was we went to this Mitzis Mitzis hotel. Um, was it, yeah, it was yeah. five star? Was it five star? It was. All it was yeah, all, all inclusive. inclusive. Yeah. You know, it's so so such a nice experience. And we hired the never, car as well. Hired a car, so we just went straight from the airport, yeah, yeah, yeah. seeming less, just went there to yeah, the hotel. Yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as you got there, you know, you just you got your wristband and you and were yeah. just like. It's just your, you know, you're good to go. You just good go there, go. grab food, grab drinks, whatever you want. It was a great Whenever experience. you want. It was really good. Yeah, really good. But I was telling them that Mother Nature came. So we didn't actually enjoy, like, oh. married couples should enjoy. Well, that's true. Ladies, that might be a shock. And you know what? It actually shocked me a week before. And my mom was like, that's what happens when you're planning a wedding. <laughs> so for all my all ladies... <laughs> It might surprise you, but we still managed to enjoy ourselves. We went to the beach. I mean, it was lovely. This one, I booked him some adventurous stuff. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> yeah, he just did some crazy stuff out there. I went, um, I did some, what do you, what do you call I it? I don't know Flo what it's I think called. called Flowboarding, the one where you fly over water. Anyway. My guy thought he was Superman. But <laughs> anyways, when we came back from our honeymoon... Um, went back into looking for a place because we didn't actually find a place yet. But because we decided to surprise our mum for her birthday in Tenerife, that actually was like, it, it kind of like affected us a little bit. But thank God, on the actual day that we were travelling um, to Tenerife, birthday, which was our mum's birthday, that's when we came to view our house. So we, I saw this house and I was like, yeah, it was it. it was above our budget, but I was like, that's it. <laughs> You just I was like, this is our this house. house. Um, the view is amazing. Like, it's, the, the house was just breathtaking and we wanted it. So, my mom was like, since you went to view it on my birthday, that's going to be your house. So, we traveled to Tenerife, came back. We got the good news. They did the credit checks. Everything went well. And then we moved into our place. Um, so, that was that was, that was was a smooth process. Awesome. Yeah, awesome, really. Um, we moved that stuff. And then the real stuff started so let me just say that i thank god because the foundation of our relationship was so strong and i know a lot of people will say that the first year of marriage is hard i personally didn't find it hard but i found the transition so the not the not our relationship but more the transition of coming from living with your parents now living together mm. working and managing that i found that really difficult yeah. 
um i think because i started working as well um and i think that in as much as you know we live in a society where things have changed um you know we have our opinions about you know i always used to say like you know um even though i'm the one that cooks the most you know in our in in our situation um or does more of the house stuff it, it it wasn't a situation where i was saying when we move out i'll be doing everything with myself i always said that oh like i would still appreciate your help but because of my background and because of how i was brought up when we moved into our place everything that i saw and i was taught just naturally came out mm. so i started cooking you had this whole cleaning. you had this whole list <laughs> of, of expectations of yourself and I was just and like, I didn't even say it to him, so I just no, moved I in. had no idea. Like, yeah, yeah. Basically. I moved. We moved in, and I started cooking, cleaning, going to work, and I was just, I was just slaving. I was always tired, and that's actually the period where I cut my hair because I will come to the house, I will go to work in the morning, I'll come to the house, I will clean, I will cook, I will, you know, do everything. And me, I, I, I like my eyes clean, clean, clean. Like I, I, I will. But you know, clean. but you know what I think it is because if you now I'm just thinking about it you you had a lot of new things at the same time yeah. because number one like you obviously you've you've lived a little bit by yourself at, at uni, at uni yeah. Yeah. but it's not the same yeah. i moved out i moved out when i was 17 I, yeah. I guess because i'm like i was just ready to go i had some yeah. good friends as a reason to move yeah or whatever but um but then i so i've lived by myself for quite some years mm. um and and it's and you haven't and also second thing i think what what happened as soon as we moved in you got a job like quite yeah. like recently after so the whole thing you're moving away from mom and and you started a new job yeah and then now you're trying to be a wife yeah and also trying to take care of the house and all that kind of stuff. it's just too many things it at was, once yeah and and then you were putting up this expectation that you had to do it to five stars five stars five stars <laughs> you have to be the best at work be the best at like living it like taking care of yeah. stuff so i think yeah there was there was but anyway you know that... i quickly crushed by the way quickly yeah. um i think that you will never ever just find a balance like i don't think that's there's such a thing i think you will be able to you will find um like a rhythm you'll be able to like you'll be able to to do what you can with the best that you can and you will find yourself giving so much energy in one area than the other and you just have to be okay with that with me i was feeling low that i couldn't do that and so i started resenting my husband um because i was doing everything on my own and i wasn't asking him for help and then we wasn't spending a lot of quality time together and every time he wanted to spend quality time with me i was always tired and um you're, you're like hey fam i've been cooking for you all day yes i've been cleaning for you like all that kind of stuff and then i'm like but that's not like i know you do it for me yeah but that you know that's not what you know talking about love languages is yeah, love language yeah, yeah. is quality time and physical touch and my love language is um, acts, of acts of service and gift so in this season where i'm slaving myself thinking oh i need to cook for him i need to clean the house he needs to come blah 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 and he's just feeling like, rah, like you've abandoned what's, me. Yeah, what's interesting, you're pouring out your love towards me in, in working out everything around it because you naturally give what you naturally want to receive. Yeah. And as you said, your, your love language is acts of service. So you're just doing all this, you're doing all these things, cooking for me, all that kind of stuff. And you feel like, oh, and no, I'm, I'm not going giving you the Russian. chance to do it for me yeah. because I feel like I should do it. And I feel like I'm doing everything for you. Like, mm -hmm. come on, this is this should show you that I love you. Right, like, right. this is should you should appreciate that I'm doing all this. And he's just but like, I'm just in the corner, just he's you know, like, not feeling filled up. And, yeah, and he's whatever. like, no, because the I way I you. feel loved is by spending quality time with you, mm. it's by you touching me, you giving me the attention. And 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 then to be honest, I think what changed it for me was because I was so resentful of him um, every time he was like, because we were celibate, by the way, before before we got married. So it's like, we're married now. We're, we, why is the sex life not banging? Like, what what's going on? <laughs> like, <laughs> so I'm just like, but I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. And, and I was saying to him, this is what I do. I go to work. I come back. I cook. I clean. Da, da, da. And he, ju he didn't just, just, he just asked me one question. He was like, but who's asking you to do all of that? I was like, this all this don't matter to you. So I do all this 
slaving, cooking, cleaning. Is that no? It doesn't matter to me. Like also, like what? Like you don't tell me what you want me to do. By the time I come back home, you've done everything. So for me, it's just like okay, I don't have to do anything. You've not asked me for help. You're doing everything by yourself. You've not communicated any, um, anything. You think that that's what I'm expecting and that's why I appreciate. I don't. You need to let me know how I can fill your cup every day. And that's when I knew I married the real one because I don't know if you remember, but he then started doing this thing every day where he will ask me, how can I fill your cup? Because at that oh, point, yeah. I overexhausted myself to the point where it was just like... And there was like a couple of months yeah. in, our, in our marriage. Yeah. It was not even that long. Yeah. It's just two or three months, you just... Yeah, I did too, too much. much. Um, and so we went, we took a step back and he was like, okay, what can I do? We kind of like shared tasks in the house, what he can do to help me. Mm. Um, and then I was vocal about how I needed to be helped and stuff like that. And that kind of helped. So we started yeah. to, I would say we didn't find, we still didn't find a rhythm, but in terms of like help, I felt, mm. I felt like a, I feel like I came in with all this, not, it wasn't even expectation. I think it was just underlying, um, um no you had this uh, perception of perception of, of how a wife should be yeah, yeah, yeah. you know this is what a wife should be even though i changed my opinion and i was talking about it differently when it was time for me to when i was put you know to the test what i always knew and what i always saw naturally came out and so i had to unlearn those things mm. i had to learn that okay this is new you have to ask for help you yeah. have to you know you have to be realistic and sometimes you can't Sometimes yeah. just chill. You Sometimes know? it's about just trying, trying to to find out what's working. Yeah. You know, learning, learning the other person. Yeah. You know, learning about the other person. Yeah. And also, I think, I think what helped us a lot was we were just exploring each other, each, each other's love languages, and yeah. just finding out like a lot of communication, a talking, lot of talking, talking through <laughs> issues, and you know, uh, I, I, um, I, I, I think I kind of noticed like for real that I've, I've had a bad habit or a bad behavior of suppressing issues and yeah. not dealing with stuff yeah which would then cause, cause all kind of stuff yeah within yeah. me and then i i thought i actually thought and i think you thought as well mm. that i was quick to get over stuff but then we realized that i was just very good at suppressing stuff yeah and then put a smile on my face yeah. which is not good obviously that's yeah. very unhealthy yeah. so i think we just we just got to place we just talked about a lot of stuff we we learned a lot about each other and um yeah about each other if you want to get languages. married i'm just gonna tell you now like talking your your jaw is going to be tired of talking you have to do a lot of talking and this past year we've done a lot of talking mm. and the good thing about it is like those conversations have brought a lot of things that um has helped us to mm. grow has helped us to understand each other mm. um so yeah after we kind of like had that conversation it was like okay fine let's start again and this is like maybe four months gone so we're like okay let's start again let's start to get to know each other again let's let's change mm -hmm. our way of communicating things let's stop making assumption about this person will know what i want like yeah. you have to you really like <laughs> you really have to express everything you want mm -hmm. you cannot expect someone to make an assumption or know you because people change yeah um, your needs will change in every season. Like, your needs will change. And I've even spoken to some people where their love languages have also changed because of the circumstances that they're facing. So you have to constantly talk and speak mm. and express your needs. Anyway, we'll talk about all of that. But you know, stuff yeah, you know what I quickly want to mention as well? I'm just thinking as we're talking that um, uh, there's this saying that you should treat others as you want to be treated. Yeah. I think subconsciously a lot of us have that in mind, but if we need to, we need to remember that that's actually not completely true. Well, when it comes to obviously you you need to treat others nice if you want to expect to be treated nicely, but you can't bring that into the marriage. Like you need you want you need to love as you want to be loved. You can't bring that mentality. You need to understand how the other person want to be loved and how how the other person feels loved yeah. because because. I can't love her the way 
that you know that the I way you, you to think. love me. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's but that's different. that's that's all about the love languages. Yeah. Maybe you guys know about. Yeah. So yeah. as you can tell, we managed to get through that. Um, and let's not forget to mention also that at the end of the day, when 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 we're just going through stuff, sometimes you know you're just going through stuff, and it, yeah. it all looks so loving dovey when you get out on the other side. Sometimes it's, it can be quite heavy. Oh yeah. But but the most important helper that that I, I trust that both of us um, ask for help was obviously the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to go in that like in that prayer closet and just yeah. say, God, help me. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's wrong with me? You know, no, but listen, let's keep it real because sometimes, no, no, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Sometimes you 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 gotta keep it real because mm -hmm. because if 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 you don't, sometimes you just. You, I, I mean, I'm just being honest. I've been at this point where like I have no idea what I'm doing wrong, mm -hmm. and I have no idea why I'm getting this response. Yeah. God, you need to open my eyes, give me understanding, mm -hmm. and and God is, you know, He can just give an understanding, open our eyes. In a way that no other yeah. person can. So I just want to say that we, we should not neglect the God aspect in our yeah. growth. Because he's helped us so much in yeah. everything that we do. To be honest, that's yeah. that's so good. And I think it's that crucial. Um, yeah. there's a lot of things that... Or a lot of prayer points that we think are just... You don't even think it's a prayer point. It is. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like... I don't know if I could have met anybody that would hold a grudge more than me. Like, I was a grudge holder. Ooh, I, like, I said that word. Hallelujah. That's growth. Yes, he was. I was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was a really bad grudge holder, and just praying and asking the Holy Spirit to help me. Like, if you ask him, he would tell you about the growth. But I think there's all these topics. We'll cover them in like lengthy videos. Mm. But that's basically, in, in a nutshell, that whole one year was basically that it was basically talking figuring out yeah. what we want back being honest about what we want in this season of our mm -hmm. lives and guys when i'm going through that i don't have time to post mm. to film a video to be on social media there was no time for that honestly no. like and i had to, to be kind to myself and yeah. say uh, not in a rude way but i had to be like I, I cannot lose my marriage or prioritize our calling more than us. No, that's no, you can't you can't prioritize the outside world. That's what I mean. Over over your over core, I mean yeah, I mean the over the core because it's like you need to have calling, a foundation. Yes, our calling and our mission to help others doesn't work effectively if we're not okay. No. So we're not able to give anything to anyone. We won't, mm. we, we, we're never going to be able to have this conversation and tell no. you what we've learned unless we went through it. So I think what I'm trying to say is that your calling is basically what you're supposed to do. It's, it's the most important thing, but you also have to make sure that the process yeah. of how you give to that calling or how yeah. you serve in your calling has to be respected. Yeah. And we had to go through that process. Um, and, and first of all, we, we are first called to our household. Yeah. If you don't have a healthy household, you yeah. cannot you cannot be healthy out yeah. there. Like in whatever it is, first of all, I need to be healthy for myself, mm. and then I can be healthy for my wife. Yeah, and I can th yeah. be healthy for a family, yeah. whatever, mm. and then I can go out there. So if you don't if you don't get that order, there's actually um, a process that you need to go through. Exactly. That's what you're talking about. So I prioritize yeah. that. Um, mm. You know, those who follow me on Instagram, by the way, Seljin ones on Instagram. You would have noticed that I haven't even posted anything, not our wedding pictures, no wedding videos. Like literally, I have not been able to do anything because my mental health, my husband's mental health, our home, our marriage, our relationship was it was the most important thing. So if you don't get anything in this video, just understand that the reason why we haven't been online, even though we're giving you a life update and things that were happening, is because we had to focus on us so just as i was getting my groove and getting into the place where you know i was about you know to just like start breathing in our home in like even at home we don't have pictures up we don't we haven't actually 
decorated our house the way we would, we would want it to be because yet again we had to prioritize other stuff we're getting there we are getting slowly, there slowly. slowly we're getting there yeah uh, and i'm excited for that because we're doing a few Me things too. in the house now and you know I, that job that i had before i'm not longer working there it was just a start off because we just needed to make sure that you know there's something we our bills are paid um so there was also a transition in my job in my career we're both going through the transition now which is something we can't get into um but just as i was getting through that we then had another curveball <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love the way you just grabbed me quickly because you can you can tell what I'm about to ball? say. Okay. Yeah, and so in November we kind of like we were getting to like I would say we were getting to a good place. Mm -hmm. Um, of obviously me changing my job, you know, finding because what we didn't mention was our jobs was also kind of like clashing clashing so we didn't have enough time to spend with each other yeah. because he's the time that he's working is other times that i'm at home the times mm. that i'm at home is times that he's working so we hardly go to see each other which obviously affected how much quality time and intimacy time that we had um so i got a new job and this was kind of like you know making me breathe a little bit and i was yeah. you know it was, it was more purposeful yeah for you yeah, yeah. And I then found out about my dad passing, which was um, psh, like I can't even talk about it. Like I can't, I can't no, talk about no. it. I think we'll have to do another video. Um, I lost my dad. Um, oh God, it's okay. Yeah, it took a, it took a, um, what do you call it? It took a, yeah. It was a bit hard. It was a bit hard for you. I think obviously you're still dealing with it. But I think, you know, you just want to mention it and we can go into it later. Yeah. Because you're not ready to talk about it. Um, yeah. That was a lot, obviously. Um, it's okay, man. Yeah. We're going to get back to that, guys. <laughs> Please. See? Life yeah. is life. This is, this is life, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, um, let's get back to that later. Um, we don't need to stay in that. Yeah. So that happened and then um it, it kind of just like affected everything mm -hmm. um guys we're going to talk about that when we're ready mm -hmm. um that was really really difficult um anyways my dad is right here on the corner i want to show them a picture of my picture. dad okay. that's my daddy <laughs> he's he's right here with us yeah. We, we've given him a special corner, special corner. <laughs> i'll put that back in a bit um yeah so you guys you know if you've watched us and you followed my video you know that my dad was not really in my life like that so it was a long process and it still is a process but i just have to say uh, even though we're not going deep into it like this guy right here listen it's like i don't wish i don't obviously i'm not happy about my dad passing but him passing has shown me who god blessed me with and guys like i really pray if we teach you guys nothing but in our story you really have to involve god in the process of your life partner because mm. you will go through certain things in life and you need someone mm. to because <laughs> listen very very often we actually don't know what we need yeah that's the thing yeah we this is the it's it's very very rare that you that you actually suffer what we we a lot of us know what we want mm -hmm. but it's very rare that we actually fully know what we need because yeah. the thing is as 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 life goes on we you know you might need this that's what i'm saying you, you don't know what kind of person you need in this specific situation mm -hmm. but if you involve god in you know in in, yeah. in finding the right partner uh find the right person then obviously god knows god knows what's gonna what's gonna happen and yeah. what's what's in the future honestly so definitely i yeah. you can only recommend like involving god, in, involve the god in, the, in the process because he knows what you're gonna need definitely. and this guy he's seen me like in my lowest of lowest and loved me even deeper like i didn't know that it was possible but it, in this season i feel like it's brought us so much closer um it's made me more vulnerable 
um i've learned a lot about myself which are the stuff that we're going to discuss after but yeah guys this is what's been happening so um right now as you're seeing this video like i'm literally going through it in terms of like mourning my father mm. um so um it, it is what it is it's, it's difficult but i think we're kind of like we're feeling a little bit lighter um we're feeling a little bit like we know we, we, we're utilizing our time properly we now have time to spend quality time with each other like i think we're, we're taking time yeah we're yeah. prioritizing it because yeah. uh yeah. if we didn't take it we didn't have it yeah you know so we, we you know we yeah. take we're prioritizing spending time together and, yeah. and coordinating yeah. you know balancing our life our lives and our, and our time and, basically yeah. so it's almost a year we're celebrating our anniversary literally in a couple of days Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah we would love to post a video of our wedding like on our anniversary day so that you guys can finally watch it um but that's what's been happening in our lives for the past year and i hope that this video has somewhat given you an explanation of what's been happening and you will see us again uh we cannot promise how often um but we wanna we wanna come back and and um serve basically because this this youtube for us is not just it's not just for the sake of doing videos and gain followers it's us serving and we can't serve if we have nothing to give we can't serve from an empty cup so we have to always make sure that every time we're coming on here we're filled and we have something to give um it's important not you know you can talk but sometimes you can talk and talk talk nothing we don't want to do that we want to be able to come on here when we have something to say to help and support people out there and obviously now we are married and maybe our content will change it'll be more Mar mar about marriage but we're never gonna forget the single people and how we've gotten here mm. um so we're always gonna have that at the back of our mind but um if you've got any questions put them in the comments below we'll answer them um and please be nice patient and kind to us as we navigate through this um season of our lives um yeah um just yeah i think that's i don't know that's if you've it. got anything else well, yeah that's, that's it, it. We'll see you after the wedding video. See you guys in the next one. Yes. Bye. That cool of coffee. Yeah. Good. Just when I feel like I'm over it.